Hey guys, it's John, and I have here a commission I just finished today of uh, the X Plus um, Godzilla 68, which came with uh, uh, Minya 68 and uh, Manila from 67, Son of Godzilla. Uh, so the Godzilla is from Destroy All Monsters. Uh, this is uh, the box, the box art and it doesn't picture uh, Manila on there uh, but you see it's a 30, uh, 30 centimeter scale in 1968 these X plus kits, now don't confuse this with uh, the uh, uh, figures but the X plus kit is a kit you put together very nice kit, very clean casting super clean and uh, it um, it is really limited, uh, limited. There was only 27 of this kit, and I passed it up myself. This is a commission I'm doing. This is number 8 out of 27, so pretty rare, and this is a, a pretty uh, uh, fresh casting of it. Uh, I was uh, commissioned to build this, and so it was fun to be able to do. I had a uh, Monster Maker 28 version of the Godzilla, which is almost the same sculpt. I don't, don't know if it's exactly the same, but very, very close. Uh, which I sold recently. I decided not to build it. Partly because I built this one. And uh, it is very nice. But I had plans of using this Godzilla to uh, put with a Statue of Liberty in a diorama. I really don't have room for such an elaborate diorama anymore. So I decided just to let that kit go. But I want to talk about each of these sort of uh, separate, just let you get a closer look. So we'll start out with Manila. Manila was in the 67 movie uh, Son of Go Godzilla. And uh, he hatched out of the egg. The Kamakuras were trying to get him and uh, eat him. And then Godzilla shows up and fights the Kamakuras. And so Manila grows up to be Minya and he acts like a little child and makes funny noises. Later uh, uh, Minya was also in uh, Godzilla's Revenge where it's kind of a fantasy thing about bullies but this is Manila. Looks kind of like a brown turd there's a funny scene where he's in this position getting fed by a native girl uh, some fruit. She cuts the, this big basketball sized fruit off of a tree and then uh, he sits like this and uh, gobbles them up as they uh, get thrown into his mouth. So now we'll, uh, we'll move on and talk about these guys. So I've put uh, Minya on the turntable so we can look at him a little closer. I painted him gray with a little bit of a more brownish look on his belly. Um, and uh, he looks a lot like Minya from the movie. It's a little bit of white on the back uh, spikes that he's starting to grow there. He's got all five of his teeth in. It's 
Sculpt is really good on it. I'm not a big fan of Minya or Manila uh, as a monster design, but if you like them, this is a good a good uh, representation. Really nice. I guess he's got his own show of charm. So now we'll look at uh, his daddy. Okay, so here we got the Godzilla 68. And I put him on the turntable so we can kind of turn it and look at him a little bit better. Very nice sculpt, really uh, great kit. I made uh, the uh, fins silver, but they, they appear to be white here, which is kind of cool because uh, in different light it looks darker. But I do think they look pretty good. In person they look more silver though. Put a little bit of flesh tones in the belly and, and neck as I like to do. I toned them down a little bit, but more than I probably would for myself. But this is a commission and so I'm trying to make it as accurate to the suit as I can. But it is, um, again, a really good representation of the 68 suit. Which is a nice classic take on Godzilla. If we get a little closer to his face, you can see. fun commission to do. Took a little time but hopefully it gets to the client safely and he feels it's worth it. Alright, well thanks for watching and uh, until next time, bye. Looks like Godzilla's saying bye right there. Okay, see ya. Bye.